start this fuckery, man. We got a lot going on, man. Shout out to JJ McCarthy. Says, I appreciate the work you do. Smash the like. Yeah, man. I'm the only person that does this work, too, man. That's crazy, man. I'm the only person that does this work. <laughs> I'm the only person who does this work. Nobody else does this work. Yeah, right. So earlier this month, we saw a huge fight break out here at Veterans Memorial Park during Gloucester Township Day. And today, some local and state leaders announced that bill package that you talked about aimed at preventing situations like that. But recently, we've seen a number of these large, violent incidents happening from here to the Jersey Shore. Newly released police body cam video showing the chaos erupting on the boardwalk in Wildwood during Memorial Day weekend. We uh, just got a report of a gun behind one in the wall. Mobs of people seen running as police try to control the situation. That chaos led to a... Mobs of people? ...control the situation. As police try to control the situation. That chaos... Mm. Chaos led to a state of emergency in Wildwood and shut down the boardwalk temporarily. Here's Wildwood's mayor speaking on the matter. If you don't act like that at home, you act like a responsible young adult, then then do the same thing here. In a separate incident. <laughs> what a dumbass comment. What a dumbass comment. What a stupid comment. If this dude was right here, I would smack him in the back of his fucking head. Stupid. That's a dumbass comment. And at home, you act like a responsible young adult. Matter. If you don't act like that at home, you act like a responsible young adult. Then, then do the same thing here. In a separate incident in North Wildwood, Thursday, police say a 16 and 17 year old have turned themselves into authorities after police say they assaulted someone on the boardwalk in early June. NBC 10 has now blurred their faces, but white kids, man, <laughs> put the white kids on blast, man. That's cool, though. Put all of them on blast. Police put out this picture of who they were looking for at the time. But we need something to keep the kids in order. New Jersey state lawmakers are now proposing a bill package after this massive fight broke out involving hundreds of teens at the Gloucester Township Day celebration earlier this month. Look at how fast them kids is moving. You know them ain't white kids, man. <laughs> look at these, look at these uh track stars, man. Using a bill package after this massive fight broke out involving hundreds of teens at the Gloucester Township Day celebration earlier this month. One bill calls for new penalties for fights and disorderly. Those are definitely white kids right there. There's definitely a white kid under there. Look at that. Calls for new penalties for fights and disorderly. <laughs> But I get it. They're trying to pass a bill, and they need everybody on board, right? They need everybody on board for this bill. So I think it is a good idea to, you know, hey, white kids were doing it too, man. You know? White kids was doing it too, man. Or oh, these might even be on burritos too. We don't know. These might be on burritos. They kind of got white boy swag the way they dress. They got white boy swag. But um, yeah, man, you want everybody on board. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be like a, you don't want the blackity blacks to be like, man, this is targeting our disparity of intersectionality and all this bullshit. You just want them to go ahead and Everybody to feel like, hey, yeah, it's, it's kids, man. Like that, like that lady said earlier. Where's she at? Where you at, ma'am? Yeah, her. Kids, you know, it's kids. The time. We need something to keep the kids in order. 
New Jersey state lawmakers are now proposing a bill package after this massive fight broke out involving hundreds of teens at the Gloucester Township Day celebration earlier this month. One bill calls for new penalties for fights and disorderly conduct. The other creates new penalties for inciting a fight in public. And the third would form new training for police departments on handling unexpected large crowds. The package of bills we dropped earlier this week take a sensible approach in holding these individuals accountable without draconian measures. Children do need to learn that there are consequences to your actions as well. I don't want it to be too strict or too severe, but I do think that on... <laughs> Why not, man? Why not, dude? They will be strict and severe with you. If you made a, a tone deaf tweet or if you did anything wrong, white boy, <laughs> they'll be calling for your head, man. Whatever. Unfortunately, this is the world that we live in. There's consequences to our actions, and we have to know that. So police say they've arrested 12 people so far in connection to that incident that happened during Gloucester Township Day, but they say they are still looking for more suspects involved in that fight. We're live in Gloucester Township. Johnny Archer, NBC10 News. Gloucester Township. Authorities are saying enough is enough when it comes to crowds of unruly teens causing scenes like this one in Gloucester Township earlier this month. They're introducing new measures now, implementing tougher punishments against anyone involved. Action News reporter Maggie Kent joining us live in Gloucester Township with the details this afternoon. Maggie. Well, Brian, state lawmakers proposing these bills not only want to take action against the teenagers who might be involved in incidents like this, but also the people who are responsible for raising them. Uh -oh. It was a mob scene that was out of control that ruined a family-friendly event that's been going on in this township for years. A large brawl at the Gloucester Township Day Drone Light Show, an event on June 1st, turned family fun into mayhem as police say 500 teens took over. Now lawmakers are introducing bills into state assembly to curb similar situations. It's taking aim not only at teens, but at parents. To any of the young people who choose to engage in events like we saw here or on the boardwalks of Wildwood, Ocean City, or at church carnivals in Washington Township, in Monroe Township, you are putting law enforcement in danger. You're putting families in danger. One would establish. <laughs> they talk to the kids like that means anything. These kids shooting the crowds, man. They shooting the crowds. They don't care about no, none of that. Come on, man. Please. In danger. One would establish charges for inciting a public brawl, upgrading disorderly conduct charges. Another would pave the way for not only the underage actor, but their guardian to be subject to a fine of up to $1,000. A third would establish a training program for police departments focused on crowd control. We feel that this is a responsible approach with real consequences. The Gloucester Township Mayor, David Mayer, is proposing a $1,000 fine and up to 90 days community service penalty for both children found misbehaving after curfew and their guardians. This new amended ordinance gives the judge the discretion to hold both the juvenile and their parents responsible. Parents are reacting to the proposed laws. You have to crack down. And if you don't start when they're young, they're not going to know how to act as adults. I don't think that's that's a just just bill or ordinance to have for us. <laughs> yeah, bro, because it's going to be mostly your people that's going to be in trouble. Mostly son parents, man. The white parents don't care because they know they is 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 you got a better chance of being struck by lightning than, than than one of them getting a fine for the, the way the kids behave. Like the community. I mean, I would definitely want to support that as a Gosses Township resident. 
The curfew ordinance will be up for a vote at the next council meeting, although those bills that were introduced into the assembly, they won't likely uh, be seen until well after summer recess. We're live in Gloucester Township, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah. Okay. Gloucester Township.